Hey, hello YouTube. I'm Karan from India, and in this video, we're gonna talk about how to show advanced menus in your patch programs. So, to complete this purpose, we will gonna use menu bar function version one point by KVC. So, without any delay, let's see what the menu bar function is. So here, the name is that menu bar function version one point and here you can see there are a lot of patch files and things over here and there is a main thing menu bar function it is of 6 kb of batch file it uses the list function and this is all functions here and here although these two files are just add new files we will talk about this in this video menu bar function uses list function and get len get input get dimension box and bad box so here is a test file and if you will see the test file it is quite small it is nothing as compared to the output you will see on the console so here we are using the standard let's see the output first and then we'll talk about the code and now the C you can see that there is a menu bar on the CMD console and if you will click file and here I am using the list function version 2.0 along with the menu bar function so you can also use list function version 1 but I like version 2 because it is much more interactive than version 1 and if you want to select I will select the second option so here it is returning that option in the menu option the first menu is clicked and the second option of the menu is selected so if you will select the fourth option because I have not added some menus here so it will say it is saying 4 into 0 that means the fourth menu is collected, selected and the third option there are two options so I will select the second one so it should be 1 2 and 3 3 cross 2 so here it is 3 cross 2 and the last option we will say 6 cross 1 so there is 6 cross 1 if you want to select this it will say 6 cross 0 so that's amazing output on the CMD console and it is just by this small code where these lines are this general syntax and here you are seeing the main code it is we are using call function call command to call the menu bar function and here is the file database file and the color of the menu bar you can select any color I like the white so I use FO as the batch color code so here is the database file that is here so this file is being loaded into the CMD console and this is a standard for the getting mouse input by the bad box and here what this file is doing the menu bar function generates a file according to your database file it generates a file named check menu bar click dot bat so it is not a sub menu or a function so I will if I will delete it and run the test file again so here you can see again function has generated check menu bar click file so this file is generated this is not a plugin the menu bar function is generating this file according to your database file and you can directly without any statement or something else you can directly check that menu bar check menu bar click and you will provide the value of x and y that is being clicked here and the menu bar generated menu bar function it is generated function so the generated menu bar function will return the output in the next two variables the next two parameters that are the name of variables and we can use them as as per according to our need I am here directly printing the value on the title bar so that it is just an example so let's see what is database file let me read in notepad plus plus and here you can see that this is a comment after hash there are commands you can write and this file is used to print menu bar easily on the CMD console you can easily interact with the menu bar via mouse all options starting from dollar are sub menus option and menu option are above them so 
these are the comments to make you understand here the main thing started from here right now so here is the first option file under file you you may have seen these options like under file there are one two three four five options so here are new save open namish it is the name of my brother and the last option so here there are five options and in the database file there are five there must be five options after dollar sign so file without dollar is the main menu and after dollar these are the sub menu of the file menu after under which they are falling so these are the under five menus and again the main menu you can add spaces as per your understanding need for your understanding because it doesn't it doesn't matter how many spaces do you give or something like that the function will read files as per it that it wants so under help you you may have seen the two options so if i will select nothing and help there are two options software and about us software and about us so that's how you can generate files and functions so here i'm what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add options under home because there is there are no options under home so let me show you where is that let me show you again that if i will click home it will only return 2 cross 0 so let us add some options under that home so www.thebadteam.org you can download these files from the badteam.org the links will be in the description of the video and let us add something else the bad team and again after dollar learning is the key and let us save that database file and we have saved the database file let us close this and immediately after that you can see oops immediately after that the effect is added and these three options are added i have not closed the file here but the output on the console is updated so let's run it again and it's running two times let me close one and okay close it run it again and click on home and the three options that we have just added is are on the cmd console bad team .org, the bad team learning is the key and i have misspelled learning so pardon me for that the bad team and click it should be 2 cross 2 and 2 cross 2 on the title bar so i hope you like it and using these much functions is nothing as compared to the output we are getting in such a small code just keep one thing in mind that many bar function is generating a file as per your database file that you have provided and you can directly check that menu bar if there is a click on the menu bar or not if there is no click then it will return menu bar option 0 cross 0 and you can then switch back to next things to check whether on any else thing is clicked or not so as let's talk about this generated file a little bit and open it with sublime text editor as you can see that it is a general syntax and there are commands auto generated menu bar click file menu bar click file program is created by kvc and blah 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 so instead of writing these if statements by the user what i am doing here is i am generating these if statements by the function itself so for the sake of easiness for the user and if you have if i can reduce this much amount of work of the programmer then it will become heaven for for the programmer to code in batch and here is something else comments are given and this is the tunneling effect that i'm using don't even think of doing something nasty <laughs> i have given that command too so you don't need to create or keep this file you can also delete this file but every time you are calling menu bar function and giving it a database file so it will generate that file and 
you can simply call that file in your patch programs instead of writing that much code that if it's clicked here to here you are simply getting the output that it is clicked on the menu bar menu option one and sub menu option two so i think that's all the information we are regarding that information this is the only information that we need one cross two and we can do according to that in our batch programs this tutorial is going long so i hope you like it please subscribe to my channel please share this video and if you like my work please share it thanks for watching bye bye